I hope you're doing well. My name is Quinn and welcome to my channel. So as I mentioned in my previous video, this week I am reviewing hairspray for my cheap versus expensive series. And since I've already done my cheap hairspray review, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the more expensive option, which is the L'Oreal Paris Elnet Satin Hairspray. Now this hairspray isn't the most expensive hairspray on the market. However, this has been used on so many YouTube tutorial videos. It's used by celebrity hairstylists and it's been used on celebrities on the red carpet. So it's just a very, very popular product. I started using the L'Oreal Elnet hairspray about like three years ago. I started purchasing it for myself and I rarely curl my hair so I really used it. But Jordan, my fiance, actually started using it and at that time he was using gel to style his hair and ever since he started using this he has completely switched over to just hairspray. It's so weightless and um, it holds his hair really well and it styles his hair without it really looking like he has a ton of products in his hair. So he loves it and I love it. And so today I wanted to feature this hairspray as part of my cheap versus expensive series because um, this is one of my favorite products that I use. So it retails for around $13. I've seen it anywhere from $12 to $15, just depending where you get it from. And so for a hairspray that is a little bit on the more expensive side, since you can get a hairspray for like three or four dollars. So that's why I chose to uh, feature this hairspray as the expensive option. So I got this hairspray in the Extra Strong Hold and Unscented. The description on the packaging says that it disappears at the stroke of a brush. It's humidity resistant. On the back here it says it's the finest hairspray used by the finest stylist. The legend of Elnette Satin. An iconic secret, hairdressers worldwide have turned to Elnette for decades. Its ultra fine mist leaves hair feeling clean with a soft, shiny finish and a satin touch. So strong, its hold lasts all day. So fine, it disappears at the stroke of a brush. And here is what the mist looks like. As you guys can see, the mist is super fine. It's very, very soft. And because of that, it just goes on so evenly. The smell though, I'm not a huge fan of. It smells very classic hairspray. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's very like noticeable, it's very distinct. And every time I spray my hair, or like if Jordan's spraying his hair and I have to walk past him to exit the bathroom, and I catch a whiff of it, it's like very, very strong and it just kind of hits you like a wall. So I think the scent and the smell is like the only thing I don't like about it, but it does get more subtle and it goes away fairly quickly. It's not like a scent that just is overwhelming and it stays on your hair um, the whole day. So I figured in this video I would just curl my hair and then uh, use the L'Oreal El Net hairspray on half of my hair and do a wear test just to see how well it holds my curls throughout the day and then check back with you guys in a few hours and show you guys the results. So for this video, I am using the Dyson Airwrap to curl my hair. This is the 1.2 inch curling barrel. Um, I'm gonna be using it with the Beach Wave method and I decided to use the Dyson Airwrap simply because I noticed that Dyson Airwrap curls don't last as long as regular curling iron curls. So I figured that would be a nice challenge for you know a hairspray. Also, I used the Dyson Airwrap for my previous um, cheap hairspray videos. I wanna keep everything constant. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair real quick. If you guys are interested in how I curl my hair using the Dyson Airwrap or the Beach Wave method, I will put uh, the link in the description or I'll have it as a card right up here so you guys can click on that video to see how I curl my hair using the Dyson Airwrap. I have a whole series on it if you guys are interested in that, um, but I don't wanna bore you guys in this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my hair and then come back and check in with you guys. All right, so I just got done curling my hair with the Dyson Airwrap, so here is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this side of my hair with the L'Oreal El Net Hairspray, and uh, um, then I'm just gonna go about my day and see how well this hairspray holds my curls. It does feel just a little bit um, tacky from the hairspray. There's a little bit of a crunch to it. So I'm gonna let it dry real quick and then just play around with it and see if that kind of crispiness goes away. The scent of this is very overwhelming. I can definitely like smell it immediately as soon as I sprayed it. I'm noticing that my hair is actually really hard to run my fingers through. And I don't know, maybe I just use a lot of hairspray, but yeah, I normally don't like not being able to run my fingers through my hair. I normally like to wear my hair a little bit looser than this, but 
For the purposes of this video, I uh, wanted to do a little bit tighter of curls just so we can see if they fall or not. After kind of running my fingers through my hair, or at least trying to, it did soften up a little bit. So I think that's kind of the key with this hairspray is you kind of spray it and then you are supposed to brush it out a little bit because it says, even on the bottle, it disappears at the stroke of a brush. I'm very curious to see how this holds compares to this because this side doesn't have any products in it whatsoever. Um, but I guess we will see here in a little bit. All right guys, so it is 11 p.m. right now. So it's been about 10 or 11 hours since I originally did my hair. And here is what it looks like. So this is the side with the L'Oreal Paris Elanette Satin Hairspray. And this is the side without any hair products whatsoever. To be honest, it's very subtle, but you can definitely tell that this side, the curls are a lot tighter still. And on this side, the curls have loosened up a lot. Um, it's a lot softer. So I definitely do think that the uh, L'Oreal L Net Hairspray works. I know I mentioned when I first sprayed the side of my hair that it was feeling really crispy and like kind of hard, but that actually went away really quickly. So for me, I guess I hadn't used the hairspray for a while until I forgot about that. Also, when I did use it, I never sprayed as much as I did today. But then after I sprayed it, it reminded me how much I liked it because even though it felt pretty crispy and hard like at the beginning, that feeling goes away and your hair goes back to feeling like there's nothing in it. Yes, it still holds your style and your curl really, really well. These curls are just so much tighter. They're um, they've lasted so much longer than on this side. So I think if you do use this hairspray, you kind of have to keep an open mind. Um, your hair is going to feel really crispy and like kind of hard at the beginning, but after a few minutes, that feeling goes away. And it honestly, right now, my, both sides feel the same, which I really like. And I think that's really great considering that this side has a little bit more of an advantage than this side. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the L'Oreal Paris Elnet Satin Hairspray. Have you guys tried this hairspray? And if you have, please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Please give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, please be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and click on that bell notification so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.